It is 2022. If you have not contacted COVID yet or any of the rides, you and my sir are a special breed and I think you might just be an alien at this point. <laughs> What's up you guys, it's Jimmy Rare. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. If you are new here, I hope you like to subscribe. Click that little button right down there with the little bell to notify you when I am posting a video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for following me on my journey. All right, so judging by my thumbnail, we know why we're here. Little Miss Rona decided to come through for a visit again, but this time she came with her cousin Omicron. Yeah, so that's that. At this point, I'm honestly convinced that January is the month where I catch COVID. I called in January of last year and this year I call it again. And it's always the first few days of January I get it. Oh my God. Okay, so there's a whole different story and scenario to this situation here. Now, I just want to let you know that I only had one one simple symptom, which was a runny nose. A runny nose is all I had. So basically, there's a whole story of how I got it. I'm gonna let that you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys now, and from there we'll go over everything. Okay, so this time it wasn't just me alone. It was the whole house who caught it, except for one person. So remember how last year when I had it, I was solo dolo by myself and I had to quarantine in my bedroom. No, so this time since everyone had it, I was able to walk around and quarantine in the house and stuff in my bedroom. Of course, I had my mask on, but still, I was able to not be depressed, stuck in my room like a prison person. Hell no. <coughs> so on January 3rd, one of my family members was going to go get tested because they were scheduled to go leave to Puerto Rico on January 4th, which is a Tuesday. So that Monday they go and get tested for COVID just to have the test to go travel to, to travel because you need the test to go travel and they went to go get tested and they came out positive. Yeah, so we all live together. So they came out positive. So they had to cancel their flight. They had to quarantine for all those days and I'm feeling fine. The whole entire week, I'm feeling fine. I'm not feeling any symptoms. I'm like, okay, well, I already had this, so I should be good, even though I'm not vaccinated, but whatever. We're not going to get into that whole vaccination thing. You do what you want with your own body. I'm not. So anyways, time goes by, and it is January 8th, and I am scheduled to have an extremely busy week of life. Like, I have to go everywhere. I have to do a bunch of stuff for work, so I said, let me go and get tested, and... By me being tested, I'll make sure that I'm good to go do what I have to do. I go and get tested, and I come out positive. So the doctors told me that I was positive, and it was Omicron, and they literally told me to just quarantine for five days, and after that, I'll, you know, so that I should be good. But of course, me being me, I will have to test, I will go get tested to make sure I'm negative. And I literally went and... That first night where, like, I got told I was positive, and literally that night, I went home, and I started getting a runny nose, and I'm like, oh, man. So, Musinex was literally my best friend for, like, those four or five days. It was Musinex, Musinex, Musinex. I'm still a tiny, tiny bit congested, but I'm good. Like, I'm good. And, yeah, I had to literally quarantine again, but everyone else around me was positive, so I was able to roam around the house, and... Like I said, it was it would feel like a cold, I guess. I mean, the riot's really not as bad as the actual COVID, but it just it hits everybody differently. So everyone's body is just insanely different. But yeah, I mean, I just want to sit there, come on here, let you guys know about that. I'm sure a few guys, a few of you guys already knew the people that are in my inner circle and family and friends knew that. Yeah, I tested positive again, and so did a few of the other members of my household and. Yeah, we're all negative now. We passed it. We survived. And I am just praying to the Lord that in January of 2023, I am not positive. For a new variant, God knows what else could come out. It's insane, you know, what can happen in a year because January 2021, people barely had it, but it was still out there. Now in January of 2022, like after Christmas, everyone started getting it. Literally everyone. It's insane. I mean... That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're someone who hasn't caught it yet, you must have the immune system of, like, the Hulk or something. Because, like, what what are you taking? You must be taking some special type of vitamins. Are you taking, like, vitamin Z or something? Because, 
holy crap, no, like, if you haven't caught it at this point, that's literally, it's literally in the air, in the air. I don't get it. I just don't get it. So, yeah, I mean, all I can say, you guys, is stay safe. Please be careful with who you surround yourself with, even though you can't avoid it. You just can't, but try to stay as safe as possible. If you feel pressured to go out where it's a lot of people and you just don't feel safe or comfortable, do it. Wear a mask because that's all you can do to protect yourself. Even if whether you're vaccinated or not, it's your decision, your body, your choice, that's that. If you get, you know, just, you know, keep your distance from people. Make sure that all of you people around you get tested and also it's the best way to go about it. Do not be embarrassed at all by telling people that you have it because... That's honestly what cost, that's what cost us to get it is we had another person around us that ended up having it and they were embarrassed to say it. So they ended up keeping their mouth shut about it and that's how we caught it. So yeah, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's literally, we're all human here. Well, with all that being said, it's time for me to say goodbye. I hope you guys have had so far an amazing 2022 and you guys have beautiful goal set for you uh yeah so my goals were all delayed and work was delayed and me being a human being was delayed because i was stuck home so yeah just <laughs> it's time for me to start now i finally started going back to regular life and just don't let nothing hold you back it's weird because my work like works work time for me is very slow in january february so who knows maybe god is telling me You'll get sick on January only because it's the slowest month of the year for you and you don't got to worry about nothing. So, it is what it is. I'd rather get it now than another time, you know what I mean? You can get it whenever, but if it's meant for me to get it during this time, go for it. But, it's always winter for me. It's always in January of the year. It's wild. Hopefully, I don't come back out with another video next year in January of me getting another vid. I got cut off. Oh my god. Yeah, hopefully I don't come out in January of 2023 with another video saying that I ended up tested positive again for Orion or for COVID, just anything. So that's that. Happy New Year, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.